In late 2012, Microsoft released its newest project, Windows 8. If you were around during the release, you would know that this operating system ended up becoming a massive flop. The new Metro UI was very hard to navigate for most users and was designed for tablet users, which was a minority of Windows users. Even despite that, Google ended up releasing many different features and apps, exclusively made for Windows 8, including the Windows 8 mode, which I'm talking about in this video. Released in 2012, Google added the Windows 8 mode, which could be launched using the sidebar. This would launch a full screen version of Google Chrome with more features than the regular desktop Chrome. This version of Chrome was heavily inspired by the fairly new at the time Chrome OS, which was came with most Chromebooks. Today, I have a laptop, which is running Windows 8.0, and we will be looking at the changes and updates to this extremely forgettable version of Chrome. So, as you can see, we're on the desktop and we have uh, three di of, no, four different Chrome installations or installers here. So we, as you can see here, we're going through four versions of Chrome today. We're going to be going through version 22, version 31, version 36, and version 40. So about 20, 2012 to about 2015. I'm not sure if your version 40 even has it, so um, this is completely going off guess. So if it doesn't have it, I won't be including that. But first off, we have version 22 right here. So if we click on it, it should just install it automatically without us even knowing. It just kind of does it automatically. So as we see here, choose next to choose our default browser. So we should be able to just go to Google Chrome right here, and it will send us to the full one. So right here already, we've been sent to the full like taskbar version of Chrome. So if we go back, it actually is meant to send us here. This is where it usually sends us. But we've been sent to the full taskbar version. So let me give you a comparison. This is the desktop version of Chrome. In this version, with this customized place, you can't actually do it from here. You have to go to the start screen, and then you have to go all the way to the front, and you'll find Google Chrome. Now, not sure if this is an actual APPX file. I'm pretty sure this is just a shortcut that sends you, but let's look around. So, if we open it, we get our little welcome to Google Chrome thing, as usual. This is what would be happening. And when we go here, we get told to go to Chrome. Now, obviously, this is just a sign-in page, so we can just put up a new uh, Chrome tab and just get rid of this. But from what we can see here, we do have a little bit of stuff. It just seems to, from what you can see right here, you can definitely tell that it's inspired a lot from um, Google Chrome OS. I've never used a Google Chromebook, but I do know this looks very similar to the earlier versions of Chrome OS. So you can definitely tell like with this kind of UI stuff. So on here, on the new tab, as you can see, we have four options. We have the Chrome Web Store, we have Gmail, Google Search, and YouTube. Now, you can't really do much on here since this is a web browser from 2012. But down here, we have the little Chrome logo. We have most visited and apps. So we can actually look at both. We can switch between the two. And here, we have the web store shortcut again. And we have recently closed as well, which will just show us our recently closed stuff. Now, when we go press this, it just seems to be the same. But this isn't it. If we press the char go to charms bar and settings, we can actually see a couple of options here. First up, we have settings. We click on this it just sends us to the normal chrome settings which that should be basic everyone should know that but let's go again if we go to settings again um we have another option here's help so we click on help we don't have the internet but this will uh, send us if i'll just go ahead and quickly do that actually all right i've just configured internet so hopefully if i do this again it could go back um here we go so we have a little just the normal google chrome how can we help thing now obviously also, one thing I did notice here is we do have the classic, uh, normal, like, Windows taskbar. Now, this is very broken, obviously, because, um, from what you can tell, it looks very broken. Like, it's very weird and pixelated looking and stuff. That's because, uh, this is an older browser, obviously, so it's not going to be able to connect to the, uh, HTTPS as well. So, that's probably the reason why it looks weird. But, if we go back to apps, we can go to Chrome Web Store. Which, well, just sends us to the Chrome Web Store, except, it, it, like, again, it's very broken. We can go to Gmail, which will just, well, send us to... Well, I thought at first it was going to send me to Gmail, but it's actually sent us to workspace.google.com. So, this is actually, like, a little thing, or a little, like, uh, showing what can Google Gmail can do. So, if we go back now, we can also go to Google Search. Now, this is just going to send us to this normal version of Google. It, um, 
Fun fact, I'm actually well able to do a, a, a video on this, but Google Search actually also had its own Windows 8 app. It's actually pretty easy to find. It's um, There's a little uh, archive on the item on the Internet Archive. It's called Windows 8 Apex Archive, and it's uh, it's it's been archived there, so I could uh, show that at some point for a video. And then there's YouTube, which probably won't work on here. It actually does see it to say to update, but we can just press Remind Me Later, which won't do anything, though. Because it'll just just be stuck on here. Because this Google YouTube doesn't work on here. So as you see there, that's about it. But like I said, we're just looking for apps. So for the other stuff, we have about. So if we go to about, we can see our Google Chrome version right here, version 22. We can also report an issue from here. We can see 2012, very very old version of Chrome right here. This version, uh, sorry, this version would probably have been released like around when um. What is it? Windows 8 was around. And then we can go to permissions and this will just give us the notification of things. So let's move on to our next version. So as we can see here, um, I am on the admin thing, so it's a little bit different. But we are currently running or going to run version 31, which 31 is from 2013. So this version's a little bit different. It's not going to have much different, but it definitely is a little bit different. It's going to take some time because uh, it's a little bit slow, so I'll just pause that and I'll cut to uh, when it's installed. So I actually had issues with the uh, version 31 install, so I had to install a completely different uh, version of that installer. So I have it on this USB because I didn't want to go through the internet because I have issues with this on the internet. So, oh, what the, sorry. Um, I think we do have a little uh, Chrome on the taskbar now. Now we, we have two. Uh, very strange. We have Google Chrome 2. Alright. Surf the web with Google Chrome. Accept and run. So I think if we just go to it, it should just run, right? There. Okay, it's doing this again. Okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. So, if I think this is version 33. I meant 31, sorry. But hopefully we'll be able to see that. I just want to search it up real quick. I'll just pause. So yes, I'm right. Version 31. So we are now in Google Chrome. So if we do go to a new page, we, this is our new tab. So we just got the same kind of like layout. So we do have a few more options. For example, the store is just called store now. We have Docs, Gmail, Google Drive, Google Search, and YouTube. So basically like the same as the other one, except now this time we just have a couple more options. But now, obviously, what we're looking for, relaunch Chrome in Windows 8 mode, baby. So, as I can tell from here, I think this is uh, the same version. I mean, no, not the same version, sorry. But from what I know, this is a different version. I hope it is, at least. If I go to about, yep, 31. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm just going to close it. Yep, 31. So, this is version 31. It does actually look very, very similar. I don't actually notice anything right now. I did notice here that we do have, uh, we do look the ex about the same. So we have most visited and apps, just like normal. Then we have recently closed. So we've got all these tabs. So, um, I know it looks weird. I'm just going to relaunch real quick. Okay, so it just seems to be very similar. So we do, it's very, very like bland looking. It just looks like Google Chrome in full screen. We do have the extra options here with all the apps. We have this app launcher. We do have the same Chrome logo, and we do have the thing that says Web Store, so it's very similar. It doesn't really have a lot of differences, but if we do go to uh, the About, we can go to About, which is the same thing. We just keep getting this. Um, so it's just going to fail update, but we have basically also the same settings, except this time we don't have a 2006 to 2012 now. If my finger just focused, we have 2013. Google Inc. This is so long ago that Google is sorry. The thing's not focusing, but this is so long ago, Google used... Oh my god, my camera's not focusing. There. Okay, it was so long ago that Google Chrome was... I mean, Google was called Google Inc., not Google LLC. But if we go to settings, it'll just send us to settings. Now, let's just... Now, let's go... Um, Now, we're going to go back to settings here, and we're going to go to help. Now, help is probably just going to lead us to the same place, except now that this is a newer version... um. It does look a lot better, like, not everything's cluttered in weird spaces, so uh, it does look a lot better now. 
Then you can go back to uh, the uh, settings and we should also have the about option which will just show us our version of Google Chrome right here and yeah it's just it it's just going to show us version 31 that's our version of Chrome so that's it and then we have permissions which will just show us here we see version 31 notifications and this app is trusted so not much really is different about this version the only thing that's been brought to the table here is just like just saying that it's a new version i think but i do know that the next version we are looking at does have a massive change all right so we are now in our google chrome version 36 as normal so we have a new tab here so it's completely different looking this version of chrome now so in here we have google and we have this taskbar it looks it's very blank but this time we don't have the app launch anymore from what i know we just have a Google taskbar with this old Google Chrome logo, I mean Google logo, sorry, and we just have all the basic stuff like the Chrome Web Store. Now, to get to this Chrome, you can also, through here, just go to this little sidebar right here. I don't know if it's called the sidebar, I just still call it. It's just the settings customization like thing. And uh, this drop down shows relaunch Chrome in Windows 8 mode. So when you do this, you have the Chrome logo. Once you've done that, there is something different about this. You might not notice it, but this is actually Chrome OS. This is a Chrome OS emulator. Yes, I'm not lying. This is literally Chrome OS in Windows. That's it. It basically resembles the exact same to that, except there's just a couple of stuff like the shelf position here. So we can put this at the left, which we'll put it at the left, obviously. And we can also do the right, which we'll put it at the right. But we can also auto hide it. So when we are... Uh, it seems it's actually not really done much, but you can't usually you can't auto hide it, but hmm, very strange. Let's just put it back at the bottom for now, just to get that Windows tradition. So when we press this, we actually get the sign into Chrome. So we can get this is like the little like uh Windows pine button, you know? And this time we have like a bunch of apps here. So if we click on YouTube, it will just send us to Chrome this time though. But um we, uh, we kind of, it's kind of like, yeah, you see the window, it looks very different. So from what I remember, this is just a Chrome OS um, emulator. I think this is just a one-to-one -one cop one -one copy of Chrome OS. I think that is exactly what this is. And, uh, yeah, it's just, just Chrome OS, man. So we can go to Chrome, which, uh, brings us to YouTube again. I'm going to assume that's probably because, um, we were just on YouTube. Okay, so here's the little tab. So it's just Chrome. So it's not in full screen this time, it's kind of just like a window, and you can also resize it too. So yeah, technically, this is literally just Chrome OS in Windows. It is a little cool, considering you do get a couple of shortcut options, but they're not really useful, to be honest. So the Google search one here, once again, just sends you to Google. This one here with the little document thing, just sends you to Google Docs. Well, it sends me to sign in, but and YouTube sends you to YouTube. There isn't really much, like there's auto hide shelf. But like, it doesn't really do anything. Like, auto hide shelf does nothing. It just shows this little taskbar thing here. It also shows you the time here, and you can also set the volume, which doesn't really do anything. It just, it, it, you can literally just tell it, li even the volume was here. So you can just tell that this is just meant to be Chrome OS. We have Mun, this is probably that, and then the little question mark will send us to Google, and it shows us the how can we help you. So you can actually still get to this right here. Now, obviously, we do have to go into settings and look through. So the only option we have now is permissions. Instead of the other ones having multiple options, we just have permissions, which will just send us here. Google Chrome, 36. Notifications, and then just say this app is trusted and can use all system capabilities. So now we're gonna move on to the final version, which by the way, before anybody asks, I do not have any idea if it has any sort of massive changes. So like, this is just completely blind because I've completely found out about this mode only now. And I just wanted to do a video on it because I thought it was very cool. Wow, I installed the installer through this through up to down. I didn't know this was a Spanish version of Google Chrome. It doesn't seem like it so far though, so that's lucky. But once again, we do have the normal Google Chrome thing, but obviously, like I said, this time we do have our Google Chrome 40 right here. Google Chrome 40, baby. Just the normal Google Chrome, except I have noticed something. Um, I did not know it was not in focus. I'm sorry about that, anybody. 2024 how does it know it's 2024 i'm a little bit confused about that i don't know how it knows it's 2024 
But, well, obviously, we're just going to go relaunch Chrome. Now, from what I'm probably going to be able to get, this is probably just going to be the same thing. Oh, here we go. We have to relaunch the app to do it. But this is what happens when you do the auto hide shell. You get this little thing here. So you have, um, you, it um, automatically goes when you do that. So uh, this time, it's just the same thing in case you're wondering. It's just Google Chrome. There's nothing different. Except this time, actually. I just noticed. Usually when you go in here, it tells you to sign in. But this time, you just kind of get it. You have Chrome, Web Store, Docs, Gmail, Google. But you can put in anything you want. You can put in, like, different things. Like, let's just search up my channel. I'm just kidding. I don't even have a channel yet. This is my first video. Um, so, when we look, we go to here, settings. We can go to our Google settings right here. Guest browsing and let anyone add a person to Chrome. So, there's not much different here, like I said. Um, this is just Google Chrome, okay? This is the same, basically the same version. Google version 40. There's not much different about this version. So, it's just basic old Chrome. But, I mean, that's gonna do it. I don't have any other versions of Chrome to do. But, for any other information about the Windows 8 app, in case you're wondering, the latest version of Google Chrome that does include the Google um, version, Windows 8 version is version 48. In 49, they completely removed this feature because Windows 10 was out by then, and most people were still using 7 anyway, so it was a bit of a useless feature. Since 10 was out, they decided, this feature's obsolete, we don't need it anymore, and they just removed it. So... Yeah, there's not much versions of Google uh, Chrome that did this. This is just a very short-lived feature. This only lasted from about three years, so it's a pretty short-lived uh, version of Google Chrome. Now, obviously, like I said, or well, I haven't said, do not use this as your daily driver. Windows 8, not only is Windows 8 out of support, but the version Windows 8 mode is from like 2015 and is extremely out of date. And using it in 2024 will 100% get you hacked. I am only doing this as an experiment. This whole entire video is educational purposes only. I am not telling you to use this. And definitely do not use it. But, besides from that, that's the end of this video. I do not have much to talk about with the Google Chrome um, Windows 8 launcher. It's really just a basic version of Google Chrome. Um, it's just a Google Chrome launcher that's designed for Windows 8. There really isn't much to it that is different besides the fact that it's actually Chrome OS. It's not just a reskin. It is literally a Chrome OS, Chrome OS a emulator in the later versions, which is actually pretty interesting. But if you want to try it yourself, I will probably leave uh, some of the download links to these old versions of Chrome in the description. You can check them out. Keep in mind, these versions of uh, Windows 8 mode will only work with um, Windows 10. It doesn't, I meant Windows 8 and 8.1. It doesn't work with other versions of Windows. So you can try it out in a Windows 8 virtual machine. You can maybe, you can try it out in, um, you can try it on a virtual machine. You can try it on a real computer. You can really try on anything you want. But I really don't have much to talk about. That's basically it with uh, the Windows 8 mode. So if you like this video or enjoyed it, please subscribe and like. Because I enjoyed making this video and looking at these versions. But that's it. So bye bye.